good day to everyone welcome to e patashala architectural lecture series for mrc students we are now going to talk about urban spaces what all the what is urban spaces first and foremost we have to identify how they are all defined how they all react to the different kind of people how the cultural social and aesthetical value of urban spaces are defined here what is happening is what is urban a people from the village coming into the city and then establishing themselves in the city and then trying to keep the root in the village and try to have their cultural background different cultural backgrounds of different type of people are all there in the urban area so how are we going to address to those issues how our urban spaces are going to react to those different kind of an activity so what is important in those kind of things then and the, it's today's perception imaginability how you going to design those spaces townscape elements urban space enhancement how are you going to add to the quality of urban life so these are all the basic information which is required in designing or in establishing and urban spaces are more important for example if you look at urban spaces we have two three spaces if, if you take our chennai our major open space is our marina beach where you know people can go to the beach without any payment no they need not buy a ticket they need not do anything and the entire two and a half kilometer anybody can walk to the beach from any side of the distance of two and a half kilometers so that is a huge open space available for everybody's recreation only of course you can do it in the evening time day time it will be very hot that is that uh, will become one of the major open spaces for chennai area apart from that if you go to delhi or if you go to other places where you have a defined parks are available because of the urban spaces urban spaces created by the town planners created by the architects created by the landscape architects are available for you so how do you use them what is their your perception towards that is what we are going to talk about it today definition of urban open spaces all types of space between the buildings in the town which include paths squares garden parks etc are all part of the urban open spaces but here what happened is these areas are very informative one number 2 is utility oriented number 3 is guides you to different activities importance of urban open spaces they give form and shape to the city different type of open spaces are available from the smallest in the community living area to the largest park to the regional park level you have different open spaces available in the city so we are talking about a small neighborhood park of a smaller area of around 200 square meter to much much larger park of 20000 square meter or maybe 4 5 acres of land you know these are the different open spaces available for different kind of a recreation here we have to very clearly understand what is the usage of those open spaces here people are large open spaces available underneath the flyover people are using it for morning exercises and there are a lot of trees are there and lot of seating underneath the tree will become an interaction between the people it will also enhance the quality of life with a lot of green cover above you they also try to preserve the nature something like our kaban park in bangalore so they also have provide lot of economical activity like uh, open outdoor eating areas they have lot of tea shops and coffee shops restaurants these thing will in economical activity go into the type of urban open spaces we have waterways playground for the different age group is more important 
playing field is important because nowadays we need all this place please for the students to enjoy the place and then start in a different activity other than sitting in the computer and watching the computer games and other things of course you need lot of greenery areas parks plazas squares street different type of squares will be there different type of plazas will be there different scales of park will be there water ways so every city has got a different kind of water ways for example you go to alepi or you go to venice you have natural backwater streams are running all around so people use them for their activity plus they use it for their navigation plus you can also go as a tourist to enjoy the urban scape of those areas then man made uh, water bodies for recreation purposes natural preserved area available for recreation you need lot of walkways running around water fountains all this small small element or the larger elements you know will add beauty one number two you are also bringing back the ecology into the mainstream the landscape shall consist of meadows what is meadow you have a large areas of lawn will be available of course you need lot of water but if water is available these meadows are possible in a hilly terrain water bodies of course your lakes and your water bodies are there and uh, now but is uh, one more very important thing we have to do is your rain harvesting lakes are more important these lakes has to be created at uh, proper distances in order to conserve the rain water for us to use it in a day after tomorrow then of course your woodlands open shelters all these things are very important open shelters are important in the day time as well as in the rainy days these gall this uh, rain shelters or open shelters woodlands are more important to produce more oxygen for the people water body again you know is a mode of your rain harvesting your mode of your transportation then drinking water purposes all those things will be adding it to it the surrounding area which is also more important to understand from city to the other places you need a buffer zone the buffer zones uh, are very very important this buffer zone can be a park from the city and it also lead into a natural and a natural ends the size of the park is around 8 acres then whatever size you know it all depends on the available space open spaces available for recreation trees and avenues landscape lawns and trees and coloring also very important in the garden you need different flowering plants trees and different seasonal flowering plants all these things add beauty one natural love nature lovers will be also be attracted towards this area plus this also flowers will also add attract birds in this area again your surrounding area the size can be different you know in the small neighborhood park can be as as small as uh, 0.5 acres is rolled in 8 acres to a maximum size of 8 acres it can go beyond but it's all basically available land space is need to be used playing field again coming to the playing field we need to burn our calories which is more important and we all need to eat the local food then only we will have a good physic to play all the games playing game is also you know very energetic one number two you feel happy about it so playgrounds and play fields for different age group is very important in most of the open spaces of course for the kids with a proper safety material used then surrounding small playgrounds with the different activities of course with the sand uh, cushion you know you can slide down or you can swing you can do all those things without getting injury to the kids of course the large plaza where you know once this comes up 
once these things are there, you know, you will have a lot of commercial activity take place. Again, your surrounding areas, again, large open spaces. civic purposes, people will walk through, people will enjoy, a lot of tourists come to these kind of open spaces. Again, large congregation for different games and different activity. In Chennai, we used to remember playing in some of the play area, 10, 15 cricket teams will play in one ground itself. So, we all know where the ball will go, whose ball is that, which, uh, who is playing where. Everything will be known in the, our schools, you know, we used to easily play so many games, so many teams can play in one playground. Again, we are coming to streets. Streets are also, streets are basically, who, what is the street? Street is a connectivity from one place to another. Streets is a smaller version, the larger version is ca ca called as roads and further highways and things like that are happening. So, streets are a smaller scale streets where you need to address to all the requirements of the street and then your signages are very, very important in the street, how the car parking is going to play, how your lighting is going to place, where are the places you are going to have your tree, how is your infrastructure development like uh, your drainages, electrical lines. All these things are very, very important. Here you can see a different kind of uh, pedestrian crossing for the people, so that people will use the pedestrian crossing properly. These signages will guide them for, uh, guide the drivers to drive carefully and uh, safely. Social, people will sit and chat in different uh, streets, different activities, colorful walkways. Again, uh, open spaces for the recreation and economical activity. Successful space, successful space, you know, over a period only any space you can call them successful. Earlier days, you know, we when the Marina Beach was formed, you know, people not much people use. Now, that is one of the free open space available. So, how the people react, for example, Al-Azhar Park is located in the heart of the Islamic. These are all uh, small, small parks in a different region, you know, which gives a, an uh, enhanced open spaces for the different activities. Accessibility, how you move to different places, how is your pathways, how is your vehicular movement, where is your bus stand, all these things are very important safety as I said more important is the safety for different road users. Comfort, what is comfort on a road? Having a shaded walkway, providing enough seating spaces, providing enough lighting, providing proper signages for you to handle the sunlight or rain. Then of course, you are uh, <coughs> social and psychological comfort, privacy, etc. These are all major comfort level on the roads. Passive engagement, most of the roads we have only passive recreation that is seating and chanting for the old people. Active engagement means your shopping, your mall, your uh, bazaars, all those things will become active engagement. Enjoyable. We have this kind of fun and other thing happening on the festival days. We have this uh, Sunday or we have this uh, group selling activity, you know, from the villages. So, those kind of activity also we need spaces for them to use and the colorful walk through. Uh, nowadays, you know, in Chennai, we have uh, car free Sundays on the Elliot's Beach, that is in Basanaga Beach Road where you know Sundays early morning you can see people are dancing for Zumba dance, people are uh, uh, doing a skipping, some group of people are playing basketball, some people are playing volleyball, some people are playing carom, tennis and chatting, sitting and reading newspapers. 
See the same road of 1.8 kilometers has been totally converted into a very very active play space in Sunday morning. So, that is more important to understand how the streets behave on a different uh, day. Different activity spaces can also be happening over that area. We are talking about the open spaces and then different activity taking place in different open spaces. But what is very very important to understand how does these different open spaces react on a different perception. For example, I was talking to you about the Eliot speech in Besanaga, where you know morning activity starts at 6 o'clock, no vehicles will be allowed, only kids will be coming, different age group people are coming, different uh, yoga classes are happening and then you have music classes are happening. Kids are given with uh, battery operated cars to run, uh, run around and some people come with the skating activity, some people come with the volleyball activity, lot of activity full of energy you can see in those morning hours. And you also have lot of energy drinks selling and lot of people advertising their products, lot of activity you cannot uh, really you know call that uh, designed open space, it is all uh, space is available people are coming there with an activity and the activity is happening in the spaces available. So, you have Zumba dance also happening, people dance to the different two, 50, 60 people will be dancing and uh, doing it for more than one hour. So, there is no space has been designed actually, but this is what is an urban space, you know urban space is always flexible, always usable for different activity purposes, different cultural activity can also take place. For example, when we talk about uh, Kanum Bangal, you know, we have a very festival in Chennai where you know the entire open spaces in Chennai will be overused on those days. Every nook and corner people will be thronging and then people will come with uh, different colors of dresses, you see lot of colors and everything will be overcrowded. But spaces are used for that kind of an activity, people will come with their food, everything they eat there they go go back after uh, enjoying the whole day. So, open spaces in urban area is always you know flexible, always you know you cannot rigidize them like say plazas and other things, these are all the open spaces which are more uh, how you call it which are more uh, user friendly and it can be actually activated for different purposes. For example, if you go to uh, your uh, woodlands drive-in, we had a woodlands drive-in in Chennai where you know that space is one of the major congregation space for the entire city, anybody in the city knows about that particular hotel. Where you know there you know what happened all the representatives you know medical representative meet their, their meeting will happen over a cup of coffee or a masal dosai, all the uh, youngsters will meet there from the, the nearby colleges and every old people will come there for a tiffin and coffee or uh, sometimes you know meetings also take place in the campus area with the car sitting and car will be uh, it is a drive in hotel. So, you can sit in the car and eat the food. So, these are all the usage of open spaces in a different perception is more important to understand how the urban open spaces react to you. Then our infrastructure you know will be always you know flexible for the different uses. Normally when you do the city planning or urban planning or a larger scale planning, what is the different type of open spaces also will become a part of your planning. So, open spaces different part means you know we have to have a different scale of open spaces available, all your roads, all your parks, tot lots to regional park to your water bodies, all these things will become part of your urban open spaces. How are you going to utilize them is more important and what is the usage or what are you going to get back from those open spaces? What does it contribute to your or what is your contribution towards those open spaces? Which is very important in understanding the shape of the city. For example, here you know the people are doing yoga, 
this is a morning activity, but the same place will be used as a play field or anything in the evening. The same open space will have multi usages in a different day time, different uh, day, I mean different time of the day. So, this is what is more important to have a multi usage of open spaces. Then you have a seating areas under the tree, seating benches are created, people can sit and relax and for a longer spaces time and then people can sit and chat for a longer time. And this also when we go when I go abroad and all what I used to do I used to carry my lunch. So, these kind of open spaces we sit and eat our lunch and then put the waste into the waste bin and then keep moving. So, these spaces are very useful for us. Apart from this these areas also very important to provide a drinking water fountain. So, you need a drinking water fountain in order to avoid the plastics again your green covers which is very very important your shade and the light area it plays a light and shade very nicely during the daytime. Of course, multi usage with the open air restaurants again we are talking about your waterways and playground playground is very important to consider in most of the playground is your different age group people need to be used you have a toddler for the small kids when you are talking about small kids you have to introduce a seating area for elders to watch them and then you need to have a rubber flooring safety of each and every import every equipment is very very important and of course the age grows up you know you need to have a more activity place you know you need cycle track you need a basketball court you need a volleyball court you need a tennis court you need a swimming pool you need lot of other activity to other play areas to take care of the requirements. Of course, we are talking about the play field. Green areas again add aesthetics for the walkways and other things. Your parks, plazas, squares, streets, different type of streets, different type of squares, again your open plazas, your waterways, these are all things you know which will add uh, beauty to the urban spaces your waterways also doubled up as your navigation and then your uh, transportation all these things will happen if you have a proper walk waterways. Again you know sitting and leisurely reading spending quite uh, even full time in the daytime where you can read or you can write a poem book or you can do angling all this activity is possible in this kind of an environment. Again you know you uh, we are talking about uh, having a large meadows, water bodies, woodlands, open shelters or uh, rain shelters. Open shelters and rain shelters are mainly used to have provide you shade from the sun as well as from the rain and your meadows and woodlands you know will give you a trekking path of uh, different areas you can walk under the trees it will be very interesting to do all those things. Of course, sizes of different parks your canopy, your shaded uh, avenues, this you have to wait for the tree to go out to this level you know this will be mostly easily this will be around uh, 50, 60 years old trees then only you can see the canopy of this tree to touch the other side. Of course, uh, flowering of the trees this will happen only during the season when you choose a tree to be planted in a different clusters you have to have a different coloring pattern for the different seasons like example m January to March you can have one type of flowering then April to June July you can have then you have another season where you know different flowers will take place or your foliage trees should take over and uh, these are all so forth you know so that you know entire area is colorful throughout the year. Then one more very very important when you are designing the open spaces and I think you need to create the buffer zones between different activity areas. These buffer zones will really give you enough greenery, enough oxygen for your places. Then only you know you can live a normal life without much polluting the area. Air pollution can be prevented in terms of having larger uh, uh, buffer areas course, these large open spaces you can see, but no trees. Trees are very, very important you know they, they are thinking that trees will bring down the scale of the building, 
tree is also a part of the building. Trees are very, very important. You have squares with greenery, again large congregation spaces, again uh, you have a different scales of open spaces, streets again you know connectivity of one place to another, streets to roads to highways to different ways are there for you to connect social importance of the streets etc okay thank you